Europe has a common set of rules on how to deal with asylum seekers. It applies to most EU member states, some neighbouring countries, but not the UK and Ireland. The so-called Dublin regulation is a key part of that system. It was designed to prevent asylum seekers from submitting applications to multiple EU member states. It stipulates that asylum claims should be processed by the country that played the biggest part in the applicant's entry to the EU, usually the country where they first arrived. Welcome you guys to visit my channel all the time and thanks again that today we will try to talk about uh, Dublin law. So today with me the, our brother Jesse. Yeah, hello. He, he will explain the details. So brother, I want to ask you first about the, what is the Dublin law actually that we hear all the time? Yeah, so I'm, I'm not an expert, but basically uh, the Dublin law is that when you get into seek asylum in a country in Europe, uh, and you, your first point of entry, you get fingerprinted, and then if you try and go to another country uh, within Europe, and you can end up being sent back to that first country where you first uh, were fingerprinted. Ah, okay. So it means like in Europe, any country, the first country where the, where I entered, if I ask for asylum seekers, then if I go to the second country, so they will find out yes, my fingerprint. Exactly. So if you if you request asylum let's say in Italy and then you you try to move and go to Sweden to request asylum in Sweden okay the Sweden government has the right to deny your asylum and send you back to Italy where you first requested asylum ah okay so it, yeah. that's, that's, that's the Dublin law that we hear all the time yeah and, and unfortunately there's a kind of myth or an, an idea that moving around to a different country you might have more opportunities or better help from the government and so oftentimes we, we hear of people who come seeking asylum in Italy maybe yep. and then they leave to go to another country and they end up wasting a lot of time a lot of money and, and they end up sent back to Italy okay so it, it means like who is, a, uh, who is asking for asylum I mean it's better to stay in the first country Otherwise, yeah. they will lose their lifetime. I mean, like, yeah, your your time is better spent trying to learn the culture of the country that you first come, learn the language, uh, understand how people work, how the systems work in that country, and be patient while you wait for the the uh, documents to be processed and and things to go through, uh, rather than jumping and trying to uh, change countries and seek asylum in a second place or third place. Okay. So I want to ask you, like the uh, if refugees like who uh, go to the second country, what is the what the process they do or normally? What is the idea? Yeah, it, it depends. Some people they find a way to get out of one country into the next country, and um, and then when they get there, they have to apply for asylum. They have to ask the government for for asylum, mm -hmm. and and oftentimes that that government then finds out that they have already sought asylum in another country and so that's when they that's when they decide to um, either send them back or keep them in in the country that they're in